Hi everybody, this is Tony Callis. I'm still hanging out over here at LN Engineering. Actually, I utilize two bays at LN for uh, my race department. We're missing another one of the Supras, which will be here on Thursday, and we'll prep both of them for the next race in Virginia, by VIR. We're gonna test June 8th and 9th at the David Murray test days, and then we'll move on to the weekend, uh, a couple more test days, the 15th and 16th, but then the race weekend will be the 17th through 19th. So check it out on the SRO site. Uh, okay, now I wanna show you something that Porsche really changed in 09 with pretty much all their sports cars except for the, the GT cars. Um, they went to a closed deck design. They didn't just get rid of the IMS bearing, they went to a closed deck design. And that really gives cylinder stability up on top here. Let me explain, let me show you. On the M96, M97s, which you see piled up here, um, they have an open deck design and there's really no support for the cylinder at all. So that allows it to have an ovality problem and a taper problem. And of course, we have the IMS bearing area back in the back, back here uh, below the crankshaft. So open deck design, really no stability for the cylinders. Back in 84, 83, maybe even 82 when it came out, this was the hottest thing. Uh, Honda was doing it, Porsche was doing it. I'm sure a number of other manufacturers were but this open deck design was really thought to be um, the, the, the new technology you know, of the future until we learned that there's just no stability at all for those cylinders. Um, again, so that's M96, M97 or M9X. These MA1 engines really have a lot of stability. Yes, it's heavier, um, may not seem to cool as well or probably doesn't, but the stability for the cylinders is extremely uh, hi, it, it, it's a, it's a better, it's a better plan and a better way of making the engine. Okay. I hope that helps and, uh, talk to you later. Thank you.